my dear brother and sister warm greetings to you from the carmelite fathers at the infant jesus shrine mangalore and now i warmly welcome you to carmel prayerin through which we will be meditating on today's gospel we are on the last day of the week saturday of the 27th week in ordinary time the holy gospel according to luke chapter 11 verses 27 to 28 just one verse as jesus was speaking a woman spoke from the crowd and said to him blessed is the one who gave you birth and nursed you jesus replied truly blessed are those who hear the word of god and keep it as well the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brother and sister jesus while discussing the need of true repentance replies to a woman in the crowd blessed rather are those who hear the word of god and keep it looking at the way that jesus preached the gospel says that he preached with authority not like any any other rabbis the way that jesus performed miracle the way that that he attracted people people really marveled at him and as he was speaking this woman made a comment blessed is the one who gave you birth and nursed you blessed is she your mother how lucky she is to have a son like you but what did jesus say blessed rather are those who hear the word of god and keep it by this my dear friends jesus makes clear that the true blessedness consist in listening to the word of god and living it in our lives so true blessedness consist in listening to the word of god and living it in our lives what does it mean to listen to to listen means to pay heed to have an attentive ear to be quiet we might have observed in the bible prophets often say listen each morning a jew begins the tefila with the words listen o israel in the old and new testament listening is more important than seeing seeing is good but for the biblical writers hearing is more important we can also recall from the gospels that jesus using the word listen while preaching the parables rather preaching in parables why does why the primacy of hearing or listening why listening is so important because it is yahweh who speaks to his people and through his word all things came into being it is not someone a celebrity or a wonder worker or a miracle miracle worker is speaking but it is god 
Yahweh who is speaking and his words have the power of creating something new. It is through his word all things came into being. So primarily listening to the word of God is a must for those who desire for true holiness for it is God who speaks to us. Secondly, my dear friends, keeping or obeying the word of God. It is not just listening, but obeying the word of God. Doers are the best hearers, says Thomas Manton. In James chapter 1 verse 25, we read, He will be blessed in what he does not what in what he speaks but blessed in what he or she does true blessedness does not come from sitting through church services and sunday school lessons but from listening to and keeping the word of god if what you hear on sunday morning does not impact the rest of your week then it is meaningless because blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. I would say, if what you hear on Carmel Prairan every day, maybe evening or morning, doesn't impact the rest of your life during the day, then it is meaningless because blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. On this Saturday, my dear friends, dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Heavenly Mother, let us take her as our model, an imitator virtue of listening and pondering on the word of God. Shall we pray the Novena prayer to Our Lady of Mount Carmel? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Mother of God, we greet you as Queen and Mother of Carmel. You were raised from being a lowly handmaid to the great dignity of Mother of the Word Incarnate. We dedicate ourselves as an act of filial homage. We glorify the Holy Trinity by honoring you. And in our many needs, we have recourse to your protection and your powerful intercession. Jesus, your Son, was so obedient to you on earth, will certainly grant your petitions on our behalf. With this trust and unbounded confidence, we beseech you to hear our prayers and obtain for us of your divine Son the favors we request in this novena. Having experienced the efficacy of your prayers, we are full of confidence that you will gain for us this favor, if it is for the glory of God and for our good. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. Thanksgiving Prayer Holy Mother of God and Queen of Carmel, we your children come before you in a spirit of filial devotion and gratitude. As Mother of our spiritual life, you have obtained for us innumerable graces and blessings from our Heavenly Father, who has given to us through you the greatest of all treasures, Christ our Lord. We recognize with deep sentiments of thankfulness all the spiritual favors that have come to us through your powerful intercession. In particular, we thank you for your special protection over those who wear your holy scapula with faith and love. And finally, we thank you for answering our prayers in our personal needs. We implore from you the great grace of final perseverance that we remain faithful to the end, to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray for God's blessing, my dear friends, especially all those who send their prayer requests to us and also those contribute to our spiritual and social ministry. And all those who hear this audio and meditate on the Word of God and make every sincere effort to put into practice what they hear. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite Priest. And for any prayer request, you can WhatsApp me, my number, 94812-6398. Nine one that is the Indian code, followed by my number nine four eight one two six three two two nine. The same audio is also available in YouTube in our channel called Carmel Prayer. Listen, share, and subscribe to our channel. God bless you. Thank you.